Hello and welcome to the first episode of the non-travel photography vlog. My name is Dylan and this is a series of photography vlogs where I don't go to places that 90% of us can't afford to travel to to take photos that 90% of us are not going to be able to take. This series is taking place in parks that are local to me, so maybe about a tank of gas or $30 worth of, of expenses to get to, um, just to kind of prove to everybody that you can take nice photos outside without having to travel. So today's episode is taking place in Lily Park, which I'll put a map on the screen so you can kind of see where I am more or less. Um, you can see behind us we have a beautiful lake, um, which is going to offer some potentially some good like water-based shots. But this is the first episode, so thank you for clicking on the video and watching. Uh, let's get to it. All right, now I was kind of tempted to walk back here to do like a planet earth david attenborough style joke um but i don't think it's gonna work for what it's worth i mean fall on a rock here for what it's worth i film with a fujifilm xt4 and the kit lens or the 18 to 55 lens that everybody knows and loves if you use fujifilm cameras that is and i have a fuji xh2 and the 23 1.4 this is for photos and obviously this is what is filming me um, and i'm using the dji mics I actually just got these, so this video is actually going to be a test on whether or not these are good, but everything points to yes. So, part of this video series is kind of just going to be exploring and walking around and seeing if you can find anything, as that's part of going and taking photos in places that you haven't been to or that are not, you know, marked as photography locations, is you kind of have to just go walk around and figure it out. So, um... Yikes, let's, let's keep going. So what I try to do when I'm out taking photos at places that are not super overly picturesque is I try to focus on maybe some like macro details or miniature scenes within the greater landscape. And that's taking kind of a like a longer lens or like a tighter lens with you is usually good for that because you can really compress it down. Um, but I find that the 23 mil has um, a close enough focusing distance that I can almost take like a macro light photo. And with the X-H2 having 40 megapixels, I'm able to really crop in and enhance the macro light photo into a better uh, macro photo, I guess. So um, I'm going to kind of goof around here for a couple of minutes and see if I can't find something. We got plenty of budding trees and flowers and stuff coming up, so that'll probably be something here. I've been starving for green all winter. It's just been, it's April now, and it's barely just starting to start turning, starting to start. It's just becoming green again, very slowly, so these photos will probably be very green heavy in what I'm taking, so we'll see. So. Another fabulous thing about taking photos in non-picturesque locations is the amount of walking around you get to do just looking for a subject. So you'll find that you'll have walked a path backwards and forwards before you figured it out. Let's see if that has anything to it. I doubt it, but you never know. So what was interesting to me, I've actually already filmed this episode, um, but I was using a uh, I was using the new Anchor Work microphones that I had bought and uh, the audio kept clipping out just randomly. I'd be standing and talking to the camera like I am now and then <laughs> silence. You could see my mouth moving and everything, but the audio went completely to zero. There wasn't even like white noise background, nothing, just pure flat noise. So that really sucked. So now I'm refilming it. But the first time I was out here, it was after it had just like just finished raining and I was walking past here and there was probably, I think I counted five snakes. Um, it's a little warm today, so I don't think I'm gonna see any snakes just out sunbathing. So, actually I do have the photos though, so uh, you will probably see some of the photos of the snakes I took. But as far as filming them today, we're, we're out of luck. So I'm hearing a lot of animal chattering kind of coming from that area over there. Now, I don't know if it was from all the rain or if 
just this landscape is changing over time. Um, but there's like a small pond that once it's like fully and like fully bloomed and green in here, you won't see it. There's a small pond in there. And I think, I think we might go over there and see if we can take any cool photos. I've, I've actually never been over there before. So uh, this will be a new spot and hopefully we can get, uh, we can at least get something cool looking. There's one of the snakes. So the little snake is making his way. He's moving quickly too. I don't know. I don't think I've got the time to stop and get my telephoto lens out. So I might see if I can't just snap off a couple real quick of a little buddy. Let's see. Hey little snakey. Part of what I was talking about earlier is finding things within your scene or your landscape while your landscape may not be the most appealing. I don't know uh, if you can tell, but I picked a terrible day to come out and, and make this video because it's like more or less just blue skies, bright sun, and everything is very harshly lit and it's still just gray and brown. So kind of ugly, but in that, find some nice small details. and make a nice photo. So I have switched back to my uh, 55, or not switched back, but I've switched to my 55 to 200. So I'm not having the best luck with kind of the macro photo end of things. I typically have better luck with that when it's freshly rained. These things just look a little cooler. But what we are gonna do, we're gonna test, see if I can find Mr. Snake. There he is. Inadvertently getting a nice headshot. Let me switch to single point. Now, I could be wrong here, but anyway, as I was saying before I stopped talking, I could be wrong, but I find that uh, when I, because I have like shaky hands, that I get better results taking photos of small detailed things. I hope you can see me. Um, I have better better luck taking detailed shots of small things when I have continuous autofocus on because as I kind of move and breathe back and forth as I'm framing the subject, I'm able to kind of keep it into focus instead of have to click, 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 click as I move. Mr. Snake, I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. I do just want a cool photo of you. That's all I'm after. Relax, relax, I'm not gonna hurt you. He's freaking out, understandably so. It's a very long video clip of me standing here f***ing with this snake. We'll move on. So, this little tree stump thing here between those trees, I think I've got you framed up right. It looks, it looks like a uh, like a house for an animal in like a kid's kids book or like a cartoon. And I want I want to get a photo of it that does it justice. Back up a little bit. Stick right in my butt. That's definitely fun. Try to get some detail photos of it, but that is just so cool looking. 
I don't know how else to, uh, to like describe it. it. Just looks so cool. Probably nothing, at least photos wise. I know it looks cool, but I think, <laughs> I think that's actually gonna be a fun thing to learn with these videos is how to film things the way that you see them. Cause that looks super cool. You know, I think I might have spoke too soon about those snakes today. I think that's like number nine or 10 for today. Not as grouped close together like the other ones were, but uh, plenty of them. I'm thinking I might go down this way and uh, see if I can't get close to the water and maybe explore a little down there. Yeah, this is kind of what I expected with it being as sunny as it is today. It's not particularly great down here for photos, which sucks. A little bit of a hike to get down here, but maybe we come back another day, maybe after it's raining or if I'm feeling so brave while it's raining. Maybe. There used to be, and you probably won't be able to see it too well, but there used to be a bridge that would go across, but I guess it would flood too many times and made it unsafe. So people stopped using it and then they, uh, they took it down. But I think we're gonna call it for today.